guy. Not only do we find all that jewelry, we also have a gun. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Genius, guys. We are back at the $70,000 storage unit. So if you did not see the other parts and you have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure you go back and check them out first or else this is gonna make no sense to you at all. But anyway, we've got a lot further into this unit. And if you don't remember, it is massive and it is packed with a ceiling. So we pulled out all kinds of stuff to go through and show you guys. First, we're gonna go get a view of what the unit looks like now we've gotten somewhat through it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna, we pulled some stuff out here. We got a table full of stuff. We also got a little mystery tote that we have not looked through yet. So let's start going through some of the stuff we thought was cool. First things first, who remembers the Game Genies? If I remember correctly, it's been a long time. This would be used to play like newer Game Boy games on older Game Boy games or vice versa. I don't really remember. I know it did something like that. That's why it was called the Game Genie. Kind of cool. This was set aside because it's probably fake, but with gold, we don't want to take no chances. So we set it aside just to make sure it's not real gold because if you didn't see the other videos, this unit's been in store since 1999, so who knows what they've been in there. 20 years. There could be anything in there. Whole little thing of knives over here. Just some simple kitchen knives. I don't think that's special. And look at this little tape measure. Jesus, I should say Jeebus, is my goal. But look at this. It's a snap bracelet. Boom. I might wear it the rest of the video. So we also got here. And the reason we set this aside is because that's a local prison here. And we don't know what somebody went to prison for. And when we try to research this shirt, apparently this is what a lot of people get once they're released from the prison and they like go to this whole Christian Reformation thing. We don't know any more details other than that. That's all we've been able to figure out for now. If anyone knows, let us know that in the comments. We also got a Walgreens gift card that I'm gonna put in my pocket because we have not called it yet. Could have some money on that too. Let's see what we got here. We do have glasses in here. I just set the case aside and even look inside. I don't think they're any designer or anything, but they still look decent. So nice pair of glasses, always something pretty easy to sell. Also got new gloves here. These are my gloves, but new gloves here that, you know, should be wearing, but I'm not gonna. Let's keep going on down the line. What do we got in this bag? This bag is all jewelry. That's why we set it aside. Now, obviously you can tell the majority of it is costume jewelry, or pretty much all of it. I don't think any of that's real. These are just plastic beads, but people love to buy giant lots of them. I mean, look in there, this is just the beginning. Look in that bag. That bag is loaded with costume jewelry. You're talking like a couple pounds worth of just costume jewelry, so that's good money too, right there. So we have another bag here, and the reason we set it aside is quite obvious, as you can see. Right on the top, you can see an old gray Nintendo 64 controller. When's the last time you've seen these? The only controllers I remember that had the back here definitely some epic games from the Nintendo 64. We had the regular gray one and we also had an old EA Sports one. It's kind of grimy right now but these are pretty easy to clean up. It also is missing the joystick top but again you can replace that for like a buck or two on eBay and sell the entire thing for a lot more than that. But I don't know if we want to sell it right now. Old video game stuff is cool. We also got an old Radio Shack. I think have all of them gone out of business completely? No. They haven't? No, I've seen some like yes. the whole road trip over here. I thought so. oh, you know what, you're right. We did see a couple over here. I remember that too, because I said something about it. But at least in Virginia, where we're from, they're all gone. All of them are gone. There might be like a few stores left that were owned individually. Not too sure on that. But I know the majority of them are gone. Other than that, it looks like we have a lot of, oh, we have a holiday card. I think there's money in here. Happy Easter to someone special. Aw, it's from Wanda. I think it's the Cosmo. <laughs> Maybe. If you don't get that reference, I don't know you anymore. If you do get it, make sure you let me know that you get it down in the comments. The rest of that bag is just paperwork, unfortunately. You guys need any help with what you're doing in there? Uh, want me to help you with references or what something might be? Where did this guy come from? Look at that hat, that hair, and that purse. Did you just explore some unfound land? I just got back from the nail salon because I was getting my nails did and they did my hair for me. They did your nails? Yeah. Nice. I think it looks beautiful. You guys got to put it down in the comments. Put storage option pirate with a rating 1 through 10. 1 being ugh and 10 being man it's beautiful. We want to hear the rating down in the comments below. Guys, not only do we find all that jewelry, we also have a gun. Look at that. Let's pull it out. You know what? 
It's loaded. We've already been shooting stuff around a storage facility. That's because it's a BB gun. <laughs> it's technically a gun, and it is loaded. You don't believe me? Listen, I'll just shoot it down here. You ready? Okay. Yeah, go for it. Told you. Sounds it's fully loaded. loaded. Somebody's gonna be in the comments. Oh my god, you got a BB gun! <laughs> don't, just control yourself. Alright, so we also got Robin Williams Disney's Flubber. We only kept this one because it's the only VHS that was actually in a case and not just loose. We have a bunch of, uh, they're all gaming wires. I don't really know which system in particular they go to, but if you remember back in the day, like the adapters and stuff were a pain. Before now, everything just runs on HDMI a lot easier. Back then, you'd have all these weird adapters for different TVs and stuff. It sucked. Old school gamers, you know what I'm talking about. Speaking of vintage gaming, we also have this is still in the package. Who remembers Mad Cat? The only reason I remember that, I'm going to tell you about a terrible story. When I was young and I played video games, I had kind of anger problems that I'd break controllers. These controllers were only five bucks. The Sony ones were 50. So, guess which ones I used a lot when I was younger because I could break them and not feel bad about it. Why well, below PS2 controllers? That's what's up. Speaking of controllers, look at that. We have a big deal pack. I've never even seen this. Apparently, it's for the PlayStation 1, but I've never seen this branded controller before. It's kind of cool. It, look, it almost looks like it's supposed to have something else here, right? It's supposed to come like a game or something because the PlayStation 1 games were shaped like a CD comes in. So, it looks like it should have a game with it, but. It's also not opened anywhere, so if anyone's seen this before, let me know if there's supposed to be something there or if this is just weirdly how it comes, because I'm really curious right now. Not only do we find all that costume jewelry we showed you, but we also got two watches. Unfortunately, one of them has seen better days. Look at the face of that watch. It is smashed beyond repair. So don't really know if that's worth anything, but we always set them aside because you never know if one of them could actually be silver or gold, so always better to check than throw out $100 in gold. We also got this one right here with a black strap. It is genuine leather, as you can see by the heat stamp on the back. So we got that going for it. It's not focusing. It's not focusing. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you see it. Just say genuine leather on it. I don't know if that's really going to affect its value, but it looks nice, right? So we decided to set it aside anyway. Let's get in to the purse too. We set this one aside because on the outside it looks just like a brown purse, right? It doesn't look like anything special. But if you open it up and look at the heat stamp. It's actually a vintage coach purse. It's in really, really good shape. And if you see the heat stamp on there, you know it's real right off the bat. So no telling what kind of value that could have on eBay. We haven't even got to look it up yet, but I have a feeling it's gonna be good. We also found a t-shirt here that happens to be the Oakland Raiders. Now, unfortunately, anything with the Oakland Raiders logo on it is obviously worthless because they suck, but Ugh. we just thought we'd have it because we wanted something to shoot at. So a little bit later, we might have to have a little bit of fun. Just say it actually. Guess what? Oh no. We used all the BBs. Oh, that was my, oh, I set it aside to have it ready. Well, that just got ruined. I say, put the shirt down though, please. It's gross, maybe I should wear gloves. We also have <laughs> this coin in here, look at this. It looks like it's either bronze or, t I don't even know. I'm not even gonna act like I know, I'm trying, but I really don't. But it does look kind of cool, and on the back, about it to say does 10. say, I was about to say tin, but tin's not that color, because I play RuneScape. I know these things. It says San Francisco Mint 1874 to 1937. So I don't know if it's from 1937 or if it's just a reproduction made later on made to look a little because that's unfortunately always a possibility as well. We also got oh God, this huge dumbbell for doing big man curls already. Do it. <sighs> you guys know it was that strong, didn't Most you? weight he's lifted. We got that. We also got a baby. We've been sending a lot of the toys outside because we don't know if they're like new cheap things or if they're old. Random old toys are worth a fortune and I'd rather spend hours checking every little thing and then accidentally throw something away that I later find out is worth 500 bucks because I'd be mad. So we're just setting them aside because right now we just don't know. Speaking of toys that we don't know the value of, we also got this old NFL figure, Jerry Rice. At least it's Jerry Rice and not Ray Rice because he's not the kind of guy you want to get in an elevator with, just saying. But that's Jerry Rice. We don't know how old that figure is, but it's not in the greatest of condition either. But again, some old figures are worth the fortune. And one that's worth the I saw the, the goat on the back there. Who? You see that? That's the greatest quarterback of all time right there. Dan Marino. Who is she? <laughs> she is the god. We also got, I don't know a lot of toys, but I do know this one, because when I was little, I freaking loved the Rugrats. And we got Chucky. Look at that. The nice Chucky. We have Killer Doll Chucky, and then we have Chucky from Rugrats. That's the two Chuckies that I had. And they're both weirdly redheaded, which is kind of strange. But Chucky from Rugrats is awesome. If you didn't watch the Rugrats, you missed out on a great show. I, I'm 25, and I'll still watch it if I see it on, because I'm immature. We also found 
a Jack in the Box, but not anyone. Look at this. This is from 1976, if it can focus on that. It's kind of dark in here. Cool. 1976. Oh God. That's Jack not focusing on nothing. There we go. You ready? Yeah. That's creepy. I haven't tested it yet. I hope it doesn't freak it out. jumped I knew it was coming I still jumped but it works look at that 1976 jack-in-the-box still freaking works that can also have a lot of value to it guys we also have gold coins unfortunately they're just not real ones but it is a nice gold coin necklace and you know I think it looks a little better than mine don't you think yeah I think you should keep it on I think I should wear it the rest of the video and that might be just about all we have I'm lying I forgot we had this there's no coins in it, but there could always be paper money in these things. You never know. And unfortunately, that's not the case today. But I set it aside because they're cool to look through. And the only other thing I set... Oh, wait. You're lying. There's a couple more things I set aside. This, obviously no value, but I thought it was kind of gross. Since this stuff's been in there, some of the stuff we found since the 80s. How long do you think that old retainer has been sitting awkwardly in that storage unit? That, like, I guarantee that's the kind of thing, as soon as you touch, like, your skin starts to deteriorate, and, like, right off the bone. Put it in your mouth. I'd rather not. Bite it. We also got, look at this. A must, or Nursing 85 Drug Handbook. Check that out. It tells you all about drugs. We were looking at this earlier. There's, like, a whole chapter on cocaine. I'm like, that's lovely, you know? If I'm going to study anything, it's going to be cocaine. Not. Last thing's last. Same. We have on the table. We also have another tote to go through, so don't forget about that. On the table here, check this out. Looks like another vintage San Francisco Giants bobblehead. Gross. It is gross, but as we found in the one, the unit, if you didn't see the video, we had three boxes, one of them being a lot ton of sports memorabilia. Some of these vintage bobbleheads are worth a crap ton of money. Some of them can be worth as much as three to four hundred dollars, and they just look like something like that. We haven't had a chance to look that one up yet, but that could be worth a lot of money too. Who is it? I don't even know. What does it say on the back? He's got a paper towel over it. You tell me. I have no idea. <laughs> just so you guys don't think I'm stupid and illiterate. I, it just doesn't look like regular English. But we have that. And that's all we have on the table. We have one more blue tote that we haven't looked through yet that looks very interesting. So I think it's time we go get into it. So before we get into that tote, I wanted to point out a few more things because me, if Pirate wasn't here with us, I would have chucked this away. Apparently, these pots and pans down here, he said, are an easy $200. That's, I would have tossed them aside because they look like cheap stuff to me. That's why you gotta have somebody with you that's been doing this for a long time because we're learning a lot out here. We also got this nice thing that's still in the original plastic. Check that out. No telling how long this has been sitting in there. This could have been in here since the 80s. We found stuff far back as 81, so that could have been an 80s vintage piece of furniture that's never even been opened. We don't know right now, but all we know is it looks nice and it still has the original plastic on it, which is crazy. All right, so here's the mysterious blue tote that we've been waiting to get into. No telling what's in here. Let's crack it open. Ugh, I literally had to crack it open. Let's see. First thing I see, Barney. Who doesn't love Barney? We talked about, I feel like we just talked about Barney in another video. Barney is the GOAT, one of the best shows ever. We also got a ball, I mean, nutcracker here. Look at that. I wonder how old that can be. That might be an old vintage nutcracker. Does he actually move? Is his mouth moving? It is. Oh, cool. He actually works. Look at that man. Nut chomping machine. Nut chomping machine. We also got, ooh, look at that. An old vintage, looks like a mailman coin bank or something. There's a coin slot on the back of him. That's kind of cool looking. I wonder how old he is. Not bad at all. We also got, what is this? We have, that is a camera. We were just talking about the in the Auctions Anonymous meeting we were in the other day, how often do you find photography equipment? And my exact answer was, we find it often, but it's always old and outdated. And guess what the case is again? Old and outdated, but we do find it. Let's use it to make a video. What? Let's use it to make our next video. I don't think anyone will want to watch that. I think they will. Maybe. I don't know. Leave it down in the comments. <laughs> Elmer's glue. Video. We know Storage Stalker and what the hails like to eat the stuff for snacks, so maybe we'll save it for them. Uh, we got, what is this? Oh, that's somebody's certificate, we'll put that aside. We also got a little mini Christmas house right there. That's kind of cool looking. What else we got, I see a car. Oh, look at that, the car's got a face. That's pretty cool. The sun's coming out right behind you, so my eyes look weird. I am trying to keep them shut halfway. 
We also got my first book of Bible devotions. I, I set it down this time. <laughs> Coin rolls. Right. Now what is that? Ugh, that's not appropriate for YouTube. We got... That was suspicious. That. Somebody just kicked me in the face. Cards, a Christmas card right here. Nothing in it. Uh, an old Webster's Dictionary. What is that? Ooh, we think it's a jewelry box. Let's see. Uh, open, open you. Oh, we got it open. Let's see. Oh, it's a Christmas ornament. That's boring. I thought it was gonna be jewelry. Other than that, we have a trophy here, but the whole guy's broken off. But at one point, somebody got a trophy for third grade girls basketball in 1996. But the trophy's broken, unfortunately. Can somebody please tell obnoxious. the drivers in California they're obnoxious. Not cool. Obnoxious. Hey, there's the rest of the trophy. <laughs> but other than that, guys, unfortunately, it looked interesting, but the rest of it's just a ton of paperwork and old set tapes like this so nothing too interesting there's one more thing i wanted to show you guys because i'm not 100 percent sure on what it is what it appears to be is a very old computer but that's nothing that i've ever seen in my time but i was only born in 1994 so this could be pre that but look at this can pre you see that. the buttons right there yeah look at that that's all it's there and there's no disc tray it looks like to be a floppy disc tray floppy baby. Disc tray. Yep. The only, I mean, that's the only reason we assumed it's a computer. Plus, it has the keyboard and a mouse in there. But it's something I've never seen before in my life. So if it's a computer, it is way before my time. So I'm going to ask you guys. Hopefully, you'll be able to let me know down in the comments. Because, like I said, I'm guessing, based on what I see, old computer. But as far as my actual knowledge, I've never seen anything like that. So we're going to be relying on you guys for this. Guys, that is going to be it for this one. We have more of this unit coming. We're still not all the way through it. Don't forget, if you want to see even more of this storage unit, head over to the Storage Auction Fires channel because he even found a collection of vintage video games that's worth quite a bit of money. So if you're interested in games and stuff, make sure you head over to that channel and check it out because it'll blow your mind. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. If you do want to follow us on our social media links, are going to be on screen. Click the links down in the description and make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.